What's going on, everybody? This is A to Z Sports Cards back at it. Today is Sunday, and I went to a card show up in Syracuse this weekend. Really fun show. I went to the Saturday show, but you, we will be seeing this on Sunday. Uh, the, I, it was a lot better than last time. A lot more vendors, a lot better deals. I think last time had more COVID restrictions. This time, you know, it was at regular capacity, no mask. You didn't have to wear those, and you just walk around. I had a good time. I think I got there at like 10. 30 when I was there until all the way till like 120. So a lot of time spent there, a lot of good deals. Uh, we're just gonna go through it, see what cards I've got. Let me organize them a little bit. I might go by vendor and I'll just quickly do that and I'll show you guys what I picked up. Okay, just did some organizing and I'm excited to show you what we picked up. So I'm just gonna go through uh, from vendor I picked up and show you what cards I got. So these first three cards I got from the first guy, I think it was $9 for the lot. So let's take a look at those. Got a nice Jeremy Shockey. Rookie patch. Love it. Very cool. 2002. Awesome. I think I've had a couple of patches from Jeremy Shockey, but he's a Giants guy, and it was the first card I really looked at, and I thought that was a good deal. So I got that one. Then we have a nice Vernon Davis. We have a Jerome Simpson version of this card, but another low-pop guy. Very good player from uh, when I first started collecting. So nice. Vernon Davis here. Triple patch, too. So we got, you know, uh, I think event worn jersey, event used football, and then a uh, event worn jersey. So very cool card there. Very excited to get that one. Don't have a ton of him, but I have a couple. But that's probably my first patch of him. And then we have a nice Saquon Barkley. Nice Saquon jersey. I might have a uh, optic version, but not the Donruss version. So I think this is about like a five buck card that I had. So, very nice card there. Hopefully he uh, stays healthy this season. Not the biggest Saquon guy. was when he was, uh, when he was a rookie, but he just kept getting injured. So, we'll see. He needs a big year. He, he needs a big year. I might hit that trade block. But, very cool. Got those three cards for, you know, nine bucks. So, I thought that was a pretty good deal. Uh, the next lot, I think this was uh, ten bucks for these three cards. They're, they're Prism rookie cards. Nothing too big. Uh, he wanted 15. Talked down to 10. So, that was pretty good. Cole Anthony. Nice rookie card there for him. Uh, had a hot start. Not really a great finish, but you never know. Year two, he might become a real stud, so you never know. I'm going to just keep them on screen. So I'm going to move some stuff back. There we go. Then we have a Theo, was it Maldon? Maldon. So I thought that was a pretty good one to pick up. Cheap, you know, cheap. We'll see what happens there. Prison pretty good. And then we have another Thunder player. We have a uh, Pozeski. I'm not really sure. Um, but guy had some good well, good play. Not great, but, you know, shots of greatness. He's got to get some more, you know, muscle on him. But pretty solid. You know, I can't pronounce his name. So no one really big from Prism. No Edwards or anything like that. But just some small, th uh, small stuff. Just wanted to give some money some, to some people. Uh, this next one was pretty cool. This was my first RJ Barrett patch, or at least one of them. So a nice patch there from Prism. This was seven. I got this for five. So this was a really cool card. He had a good bounce back year, I think. So we'll see how he does in uh, year three. But still, beautiful card for five bucks. Gonna jump on that. This was probably the best card of the day for me. We have a nice Emmett Smith from Score Supplemental. So it's very cool. Nice card there. Uh, the edges are fine. I mean, the bottom, not that great, but still, awesome card. I got this for 35 bucks, way below what it's selling for online. This is a very hot card, or was for a certain amount of time. I think it's still pretty going for, you know, 60, 70 bucks. But uh, probably Emmett Smith's most sought after rookie card, officially right now. So, very good. Very good card there. Glad to have it to the PC. Might be the card of the day. And then we have, I knew I was going to say, I, I knew I said I wasn't going to get any more, like, score. But, you know, I saw this. This was pretty cheap. But this was in a lot for, you know, 15 bucks. I got this in, in a very nice card behind it. But I don't know much about this guy. Amon Ra St. Brown. Amon Ra. I don't know. I think I drafted by the Lions. So, I mean, probably top five wide receivers in the draft. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I, th I picked up a uh, Darius Slayton score autograph back uh when he was a rookie but so and he did pretty well but 
Darius Slayton. I might have said Slay. But we'll see. We'll see what happens to this guy. I don't really know much about him, but it's an autograph and it was cheap. This was probably the card of that deal. A nice Bart Tolo Cologne rookie. Nice autograph rookie from Bartolo Cologne. Love that. Probably future Hall of Famer. Been in the league for 20 years. He's still playing, I think, in Mexico. But awesome. Awesome card there. A, card, a guy that I don't have a lot of. I think you might have another rookie card of him. But this is an autograph one. Super sweet. Very nice card there. Signature series. So I had to pick up that one. That was a good deal. This next lot was all one deal. So I think this was about um, 55 bucks altogether, which, you know... It adds up, and there's some good cards in there. Some uh, probably not anything to resell right now, but just stuff to add to my PC. So I got a uh, Avdia. I just learned how to pronounce his name <laughs> this year. Avdia, so nice card there. This is like three bucks, so pretty good deal there. Yeah, um, not one of the better players, but you never know. Year two, we'll see what happens. So I thought that was a good risk. Uh, James Robinson. This is very cool. This is from Chronicles. This is his black uh, prison black card. So this was ten bucks. I got that for a pretty good deal. I thought. Nice shine on this card. Nice refractor. He doesn't have a lot, especially when earlier on in the season. Uh, he's a lot more in Chronicles. But these Prison Black cards are so sharp. And, you know, he's a guy who doesn't have a lot. So I wanted to just pick that up. Very beautiful card. I love that design. I don't know if they were thinking about doing a Prison Black like insert or a you know, subset or maybe another release. But those are cool. We have a nice James. Is it Porsche? Is it Porsche? It might be. I another guy didn't really expect to pick him up, but I was looking online and he was, you know, one of the better special teams players this year from rookies. I think he was a, a rookie, like not special teams player of the year, but rookie re, like returner of the year or something like that, something rookie related. But he was, he was pretty good special teams wise, and I love my special teams. So, please for the Ravens, three bucks. Might you never know who pans out. So that's why I picked him up, just to throw it in, make the deal a little better. Uh, we got a nice Tyler Johnson, another guy who, you know, who was on a good team, you know, Super Bowl champion. Not tons of touches, but this is number 9 out of 10. So very short print, very small. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see if he, you know, develops and gets better. So that could be a, a sneaky, sneaky good. So a couple more cards. Uh, I did end up picking up some Prism from this year. I knew I was trying to hold off, but these were such good deals that I had to pick it up, and it's not score, so that's always nice. We got a nice Justin Fields for the Bears. Nice rookie card for him. That was 10 bucks. so this was 55 altogether. The last card is probably going to be the best card of the deal. So Nice Mac Jones going to the Patriots, so we'll see how he plays out. I know there's going to be a fight for you know him and Cam, but you never know. He's on a good squad. We'll see what happens there. Trevor Lawrence. This was a very cool one. I was either this or Trey Lance, and I, I this was twenty. He originally said it was like a thirty dollar card. I was gonna walk away. But he was like, "What if I'll do twenty? I can do twenty on it." And I was like, "All right, that sounds pretty good." So twenty dollars for a Trevor Lawrence. I was walking away because he's on the Jags. You never know how who develops and how he's gonna perform. But you know, people are really high on him, and I thought, you know, take a risk. I'm also gonna get his Donra stuff, but. When it comes to collegiate, uh, collegiate uniforms and stuff like that, yeah, it's um, kind of not as good as the NFL uniforms. So I just took a risk. Why, why, not? why not? And then finally, this is probably the sneakiest buy. Uh, we have a nice Quentin Williams. So I think he was second in the league in fumbles and uh, I think 10th in you know, tackles for a loss or whatever. Plays for the Jets. Not a great team. 7 out of 25. The only listing on eBay right now for this car is like 175 bucks. It, it's very hard to find. It has the Go Jets. Um, yeah, and I don't know. I, I picked this up. This was like 15 bucks, 20 bucks. So 55 for the lot was very good. Got a very good deal out of it. So very nice. I don't know. I don't know. This probably is a – it could be a big pop or a big bust. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Not a lot of listings of this card. It is Leaf, so it kind of hurts it. But still, 7 out of 25, very good risk. And finally, the, uh, the most expensive thing I bought, I got a nice hobby box of Series 2 because I couldn't find a Key Brian Hayes, I couldn't find a Trevor Rogers, I couldn't find a uh, Jazz Chisholm, but they're in here. So if we can we're going to open this up on the channel. Maybe it's uh, do, you know, there's 24 packs, right? You might do 12 packs, 12 packs in two weeks. 
I think that'll be a fun little adventure. And hopefully we get an, like an autograph, maybe even a uh, Key Brian Hayes auto. That'd be so sweet. So we're going to open that up next two weeks. So that is it. That's it for the Syracuse show. Very fun. Glad I went back. Gave it a second chance. Uh, I probably will go back again someday. Great dealers up there. So that is it. That's, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. This has been AZ Sports Cards, and I will see you all next time.